Well, David, we're seeing a clear pattern uh, in uh, t the two congressional races. Let's start with the one closest to home. In the second congressional district, this is the district that Cedric, the seat that Cedric Richmond gave up to join President Joe Biden's administration. Uh, the runoff, there's going to be a runoff between State Senator Troy Carter and State Senator Karen Carter Peterson. Carter's going to run first. He's been running first uh, all night. He ran extremely well in the two largest parishes in early and mail in voting. He captured almost half the vote in Orleans and in Jefferson in the early voting. But in election day voting, Karen Carter Peterson, who also was from New Orleans, has turned the tables a little bit and done much better uh, than she did in the early voting. But what we're seeing here is uh, so far, and this is with about two thirds of the precincts still out. OK, so this is only about a third of the precincts in, plus all 10 parishes that are in this district have reported their early and mail-in votes. Uh, Troy Carter's got just over 40 percent. Karen Carter Peterson has 25, almost 26 percent. And uh, Gary Chambers, uh, a Democrat uh, from Baton Rouge, a, a civic activist, very progressive, has 16 percent. And Claston Bernard, uh, the leading Republican among the four Republican candidates in this race, running fourth with 8%. So we're headed for a runoff on April 24th. And, uh, you know, not seeing anything change here in the last uh, 15 minutes or so. But all night, it's been Troy Carter out in front with somewhere north of 40%. And I think that's where we'll, we'll wind up seeing this finish. He might be in the high 30s, anywhere from 38 to 39 to about 43% or so. And Carter Peterson was somewhere in the mid to high 20s. Uh, that's frankly, I'm a little surprised at the gap between Peterson and Carter, but I think that's to credit Chambers. He's done a very aggressive job of uh, getting his progressive message out there. And he probably took more votes away from Peterson than he did away from Troy Carter. So it'll be interesting to see how this race unfolds in April um, as they head to that April 24th runoff date. And, but that's how it looks right now.